And our word for today on this Monday of the third week of Easter, this Monday, April the 15th, our word for today is indoors. Indoors, our word for today, not indoors, not (laughs) I-N-D-O-O-R-S, but E-N-D-U-R-E-S, indoors, our word for today. But I thought that it was going to be indoors because it has to be more than one word. (laughs) The word of the day, except for Father Mark. (laughs) Except, so on on Mondays, it's words of the day. (laughs) The phrase of the day. The the words of the day endures. What a perfect word for the Easter season. Mm. And it just reminds me, reminds me of that story of this couple's in their 70s. And, you know, when they met, you know, they've been married for several years. And when they met, you know, the husband loved to eat. He was a little overweight. He loved to play golf. He loved to eat. He loved cigars and really good liquor. He loved all the good things Mm. of life. Then, when he's in his late 40s, he had a heart attack, Mm. and he almost died. And his wife, who was a nurse, you know, and and a nutritionist, you know, then they literally changed his lifestyle and their lifestyle together. Mm. You know, they... They, they ate all healthy foods and there were there were bran muffins, you know, and there was no cigars, you know, and there was very little liquor, you know, and it was like, so he just changed, you know, and he was in perfect health. They walked every day, you know, he still played golf. And then in their early 70s, somebody ran a traffic light and hit him broadside mm. and they died. And then they find themselves with St. Peter, you know, in heaven. And he's showing them to the to their mansion, and the guy couldn't believe it. She says, "Look, see this this window right here in your living room. You look out. He says that's a golf course. He says not only that, you see that dial over there. You can make it be any golf course in the entire world. Mm. <laughs> so how much are the greens fees? No, there's no green fees. This is heaven. Oh, and he takes them back. He's this beautiful bar, and there was." Any kind of liquor entirely in the world it says, Well, how much does this cost? It says, Nothing. You're in heaven and you can drink anything you want. You'll feel good, but you'll never get drunk. You'll never get cancer. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. And so then he takes them across the street and there's this huge clubhouse and then you can just eat and there's a buffet of every kind of food that, that you could totally imagine. And he says, well, where are the low cholesterol tables? You know, the, Look, you don't understand, Peter says. This is heaven. You can have any of these desserts, any of this meat. You can eat anything you want. You'll never get fat. You'll never get sick. This is heaven. And then the smile on the guy's face starts to fade. And he starts to get angrier and angrier. He is livid. And pointing at his wife, he is so mad that he can't even speak. And finally he says, this is your fault. This is all your fault. If it wasn't you and your blasted brand muffins, I could have been here 20 years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. (laughs) There's endurance. (laughs) So what what does Jesus say today? Jesus says, oh, my gosh, I can't get rid of these people. I just am trying to be able to leave after after he fed the 5,000 with the five loaves and the two fish. He goes off, and all of these people are following him because they want more food. He says, work for what endures. Friends, this is the Easter season. Peter and the disciples who ran away Holy Thursday night, they were scaredy cats the Holy Thursday night, are now preaching, you know, in the middle of Jerusalem, in and out of jail, and they don't care. Stephen is literally preaching Jesus. He's about to be stoned, but he looks like an angel. Friends, we think that we follow God and follow that path and we'll be blessed, meaning all the good things externally is going to happen in their life. No, externally is up and down like the sea. It's horrible, but God gives us blessings inside. This is all about following God in such a deep way that we glow like an angel, that no matter what the world does to us, that there's something in us that we won't want to give up anything. We will risk anything because we don't want to be able to let go of the God that's in us. And we are called to be Jesus in the world. God bless you. 